I'm Anil Kumar and here is an application question on quadratic functions. A rectangular field at the edge of a river is to be fenced and divided into three blocks with 800 meter of fence. Find the dimensions of the field that will maximize the area. So let's try to visualize it. Let's say that's the river. And we have a rectangular field here. with fence and we need to have three blocks so let these be the three blocks now let us assume that this is the length and these are widths of each block perimeter is sum of all the sides and that is equal to 800 meters of fence so that gives us relation between L and W, the two variables which we are defining. So we can write that L plus 4W is equal to 800. Now from here, we can write L in terms of W, which is 800 minus 4W. We need to maximize area. So what is the area of this? Area is length into width. Length into width. You can replace length with 800 minus 4w to get an equation in one variable w. So we could write this as 800w minus 4w square or minus 4w square plus 800w anyway. So at this stage, you could actually solve using two different methods. You could do completing the squares to find maximum. That is a standard method. You could also factor and then solve. Okay, let's complete the square and then solve. So I'll rewrite this equation here. A equals to minus 4w square plus 800w. To complete squares, we'll take the leading coefficient as common factor. So we get w squared minus 200 w. Half of 200 is 100. So we are going to add and subtract square of 100. Right? So we have w squared minus 200 w. Add and subtract 100 square. That gives you minus 400 or minus 4 times this is 4 minus 100, I mean, sorry, W minus 100, W minus 100, whole square, and minus four zeros. Okay. Open the bracket. So you get minus 4 times W minus 100, whole square, and that gives us plus 40,000. So the dimensions which will maximize the area will have width of, 100, right? 100, the units are meters, and the length will be 800 minus 4 times 100, which is 800 minus 4 times 100, and that is 400 meters, right? So that gives you length and width for the given situation. Now, as I was saying, you could also solve it using factoring. Let me show you that. If I factor minus 4w here, what do I get? Let me call this alternate method. So it's a method 2. So we are factoring. Minus 4w taken common, you get w minus 800 divided by 4, negative, will give us 200. w has been taken out. So here we have two zeros. One zero is at w equals to 0. The other one at w equals to 200. The axis will be where? Well, this equation represents a parabola kind of like this, and that's the position. The axis for this parabola is right in the center, correct? We found that the two zeros are at 0 and 200. So let's say, uh, let me sketch the axis kind of like this. So this is 200, that is 0. So it is at mid-value. Do you see that? 
So we find that the axis will be at w equals to 0 plus 200 divided by 2, which is at 100. So we get the same answer, w equals to 100. Do you see that? So that is what I mean. You could actually solve using factoring also. Well, this is completing squares. More popular method. Normally adopted, right? But you have an option. I hope that helps. You can also share and subscribe to my videos. Thanks for watching.